All right, so I'm Jay Leonard J, and this is my electric banjitar rig. This is a six string banjo or a banjitar, a gitjo as some people call it. It's pretty much just a banjo that's strung up like a guitar so you don't have to learn anything new. I originally got this uh, because I, I, I'm in a bluegrass band and they can't always afford to bring the banjo player out for certain shows. So I didn't want to learn how to play banjo so I just grabbed this and man, I'll be honest with you, it's been so much fun and I built what I think is a really awesome rig for this banjo. Uh, pretty much I wanted to get what I thought were the strengths of the instrument and uh, find a set of pedals that really complemented the sound. So let's take a quick look at what I got and then let's uh, play some sounds and see what I came up with. So this is the rig in a nutshell. I wanted to keep it pretty small, pretty compact, but very, very functional. Um, I have the Cali 76, a compressor, the best in the biz, uh, the Foos pedal by Seymour Duncan, which I believe is a pedal every person in the world should own, uh, the Waterfall by Jam, the Echoes Delay by Robert Keeley, and the Reflection by Wampler. Uh, first off is the compressor. I have it on all the time. Uh, it really boosts the volume of the banjo and electrified banjo or banjitar. I find that uh, string balance is the hardest thing. So just keeping that on just to give me a volume boost and to even out the sound of my strings is just perfect. <laughs> I don't play it like a banjo player, but it sounds pretty good to me. I'm going through the, obviously this Ortega banjo, uh, banjo tar and uh, the Benson Chimera. Now I like to add the reflection uh, to give me a little bit of an Amer Americana kind of sound. Check this out. Just, it just sounds like that wonderful haunting kind of banjo thing. Now to make it sound even more haunting, I'm gonna put a slap back delay. Let's see what that sounds like. Now the chorus here has a vibrato setting and I like to use a vibrato setting to make it sound like an old tape so it gets kind of out of tune a little bit and into so I turn the speed right down, turn the depth and just give it a little bit of a really haunty kind of sound. Now you can go into the chorus of this and it has a cool sound too.
Let's go into this little delay here. Because the band guitar doesn't have a lot of sustain, it really works great for that kind of percussive thing. When I get, when I get really nasty, I'll actually turn on this here. This is like a little fuzz pedal from the Foos. Let's see what we got going on over here. Now, again, with that quick attack, I thought the best thing to complement that would be an envelope filter. So I'll just activate that here. I could play this for hours. Other things you could do with this uh, that I had a lot of fun was uh, put an octave on it. Put a, like a low octave or like a, a Boss SY1 to get that kind of bass, choppy bass lines. Uh, just hours of entertainment. Why don't you experiment for yourself? This is my Banjatar rig. Well, that is it. That is the video. Thank you all so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, check out my affiliate links. And if you want to know my review on this Banjatar right over here, uh, check it out on Patreon. I do demos on YouTube and reviews on Patreon. Uh, my question for all the subscribers today is, uh, well, if any of you actually have a banjo, electric banjo rig, what do you have in it? I'm curious to hear how you guys electrify that banjo. Uh, that being said, I guess I'll see you all soon. Take care and goodbye.